Welcome everybody to Post Atomic. Uh, today we're going to be in the high desert. We're checking out this this bus uh, and fire truck graveyard. It was uh, recommended by uh, somebody on Facebook that slipped my mind at this moment. But I promise I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video. So uh, um, if you like these kind of videos, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. Also follow us on Instagram, postatomic underscore 18. And uh, cue the music. <laughs> Holly, look right here and say hi. hi. Alright. Here we are back on the Lazy River. So I know the sun is gonna be right in everybody's eyes. There's actually uh, quite a few fire trucks here too. All you can see is uh, school buses right now, and these are the awesome old school buses where they're, where they're rounded off and at the end instead of square. And look, I don't ever. Recall seeing, I guess this would be the fifth wheel. Is that what you would call this? The fifth wheel? Mm. School bus? Oh, there goes a the fire truck right here. <laughs> of course, everybody's got to come and strip everything. Now, would it be as interesting if uh, they were still all intact? Eh, maybe not. Maybe so, but maybe not. Would be pretty cool. Well, they probably stripped away the, uh, the, the staircase. There you go. You got it. I guess this would have been a bench seat. Probably fit two other people there. Look at that. Yeah, there's other people here too. As soon as we got here, about two minutes later, a couple guys drove up on quads and I think they're out here exploring as well. But I doubt they're making a video. Go to the stripped out school bus. Be careful on that one. I think that one has no... There's a hole in it. Yeah, I see it. You got the very last seat in here still. I'm surprised. Make sure there's no critters. No growing up. I never took a school bus except for one time. And that was for a field trip. Look. Yeah, I've seen that. That's this is actually pretty cool. cool. Let's see, can you walk down the center of this? I don't know. 
I think you can. See the seats. You can tell the tires in the, the rear are flat. Because it's kind of sloped down. It might be supposed to be like that. No, I don't think so. This is pretty cool. I don't know what uh, year this bus was made, but it's definitely vintage. Let's see, what does this say? To to lower footrest first all right uh, I guess that's what they're talking about down there the footrest what do you think this is for? what I don't know how it's probably to change the uh, marquee on the outside of the bus that's okay. And I eh, can't really go too much further. You can tell there was a nest. Probably a bird's nest right there. Smart bird. Let's see. Nope. No bell. Let's check this one. Nope. All right. I'm not going to stop and check every bus, but maybe one of each. We got a good picture of Holly and that bus over there. If we can keep uh, the sun out of your guys' eyes, the fire crew bus. A couple of them. You just seeing those people walk by. What? How ironic that we come out here and other people come out here at the same time. Uh, paintball. It's still wet. Well, this must have just happened then. If it's still wet. It's cold. Yeah, it's still wet, so. I don't remember seeing, we came and scouted this place out the other day and the emergency door, <laughs> it's over there taking pictures. Like trolleys. Yeah, look, there's more pink ball. You think that's what it is? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's still wet, too. Lovely. Yeah, so, I mean, when we came and scouted this out the other day, I don't remember seeing any of this paint. And although we didn't come all the way in this bus, Holly did. She walked from that emergency exit all the way to over here. And we looked in here really good and there was no yeah, no paintball. This bear was right there. Was it? A bunny. Stuff thing. Yeah, there's another one. That one actually looks older though, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, the people are leaving. It's uh Let's check this bus out. Let's go to the other side. Yeah. See if we can get to it from this side. There's lots of glass everywhere, of course. Nope. I'm going to have to go down there. It's the front of those buses. So, don't know what the purpose, the, this bus's purpose was, but, oh, this one, so it has a speedometer and the, uh, okay. 
shack and everything. Oh, well, yeah. The, I guess this would be the meter? Not sure. The fan's still there? Wow. Wonder if... <laughs> wonder if that would work. But all the seats are gone. Yep. No, but the back seat's still there. Just like the other one. Now I wonder why they would have I wonder why they would have pipes like this coming on an old bus. I think this bus maybe had a bathroom at one point. No. There's no reason because look at it, there's like a That's the emergency exit though. You can't have a bathroom right there. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. There's like uh water lines coming in. Look at that mess. City bus. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Another school bus. Okay, so we're gonna check out some more. What is this? West. Okay. Oh, okay. Britt wants to go and check out the city bus real quick, and then we'll come back and check this one out. Yeah, none of this was here the other day, so they just probably did this either this morning or last night. Look at the tires on this bus, man. You guys ever see tires like this on a bus? Jeez. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that same kind of bus. Yeah, I'm surprised there's still uh, anything left. That glass is thick, though. Yeah. It's all about that. Careful. Yeah, it is pretty thick. It's not even budging, even though it's cracked. Right here they have the poles. The poles? Did you just say pools? Poles. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's really, really nothing much to this bus. Wonder what this was. Big light maybe. Oh no. Looks like a light from back there. My blind eyes. Mm-hmm. It's not connected though. What well, I wonder why they're just dumped here. Yep. Well, almost ate it. Yeah, this jacket was somewhere. It wasn't here either. But it was windy yesterday. Yeah, that is true. Look at all the paint balls. <laughs> Just a little plastic with paint inside. Don't get it on me, punk. Here goes the charter buses. Brittany and her Gene Simmons hairdo. <laughs> Here, let's check this one out. This one actually looks more intact than that other one. Uh, and the door is pushed open. Somebody was out here drinking. Oh, the 
still has the TAC dashboard still all included. We're still there included. Of course it's included. One time, I was just telling these guys. Yeah, open that window. It's hot in here. <laughs> it's actually not hot in here. When we got out of the car, it was said it was uh, 46 degrees. That one's full of trash. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to go check out that one real quick. Fitness. I don't want to walk over there because I can't see the floor. Wow. Yeah, they they trashed this one. Mm. Now we're getting to some of the fire trucks. Look at that thing. Isn't it awesome? I think these are... I like these better than the buses almost. The other day when we came out to, to scout, to scout this out, look at the motor on that. The other day when we came out to scout uh, this area out, me and Holly got some pictures on this thing. Nothing. Hmm. Kind of surprised there's still air in these things. Obviously, they've been here for years. Let's check this bus out. Just because we're right here. just like the rest of them oh wow it's not even damaged look at that something that they haven't damaged here yet but is a five speed I'm not sure. Oh, pressure gauge, air brakes. I'm actually very shocked that this is still intact. And just another view. Go quick shot. All right. Let's go check out some more fire trucks. Oh, so this literally is a graveyard. This isn't something that's local. Well, that's our car, by the way. That doesn't belong here. <laughs> it's pretty dusty in here. I'm surprised all the seats are still in here. Maybe these are uh, well, they, they're not they're fabric. not as desirable. They're fabric, that's why. The other ones are. Yeah, you know these are probably easier to come by. I bet people were taking the seats out of those to like restore other buses, you know. Or make seats for a fire pit. That too. Oh, look at the uh, some of the. Fabric is still here, so you throw your suitcase. Some of the AC vents. I'm assuming that's an AC vent.
that'd be cool to find a bus like this still in operation restored of course and yeah, take like a cross-country trip in it Oh, yeah, the Moreno Valley Unified School District. Huh. What's wrong? I thought that was shed from the snake. Yep, just fabric. Moreno Valley Unified School District. So, so far, it's like. That's not Moreno. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then you got Huntington Beach School Unified School District. Huntington Beach Union High School District. I guess the high school has their own district there. But yeah, so this is a true graveyard for buses. This is where they used to send them, I guess. I don't really know any history on this. I, I tried to do as much research on this place as I could. And there, there's just nothing. The uh, luggage compartment. But yeah, there's there's nothing on this graveyard. This is in front of that bus we were just in where I bumped my noggin. Hey, Britt's gonna climb up there this time. Let's go around. That's why the sun isn't in your guys' eyes. But, what's that bus again? Couple of fire trucks. I'm standing up here on the uh, on this fire truck here. So yeah, the you guys can see the uh, tops of all the buses there. It's pretty neat though. Coinage cable. Well, I guess that would be for the ladder here. It's funny that this ladder is still attached. Get down there. <laughs> the seat's still there. None of that. The tack or none of that is still there. Let's jump down now. Another bench seat. Seems like it's cold in that region. Yeah, it pretty much is. I mean, there's snow in our mountains. It's only about not even five minutes from the house, maybe. And we're supposed to get a big storm tomorrow. Yep, starting tomorrow, we're getting slammed with uh, no. two days worth of snow. This one actually, look at this bus, it looks kind of new. Newer. I mean, and the roof is not messed up at all. Yeah, we don't need to go in it. We've already seen a lot of it. Yeah, let's just take a quick peek up there. Let's see. What school this school district this is from? Well, you can't. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but this is ABC Unified School District. What is it? ABC Unified. Don't know where ABC Unified would be. Where are you? Right here.
Oh, another fire crew bus. Yeah, it's green. Yeah, it's not green. It's oh, look, there's green. a cage in here. I guess this is where the inmates would be. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is the inmates' quarters. I mean, I don't know about other parts of the U.S. I'm sure it's the same thing, but they use uh, inmates to help fight fires. Maybe that's what this whole bus was. Maybe that's why it's green. Sheriff's Department out here uses this green. So, maybe that's what it was. Is this door open? It slides, you can't slide it. Nah, uh, they bent it too much. Now I'm gonna start doing when we come to abandoned places like this. Vanilla there. wafers. Bringing a bag and collecting all the bottles of wine. <laughs> you could, that would help clean up the area too. <clears throat> well, since the kids can't be in the videos anymore, really. Maybe we can send them out to do that, huh? Oh, yeah. Probably the first one here. You know, I bet that was a fire crew bus, too. Why? Because it's sitting next to one, and it's red. We'll check the... I think we're going to check these out, and then we're going to make it like a tree and get out of here. Maybe, because the windows are... Boarded. Well, oh, you know, what? I think this was a converted to a motorhome. Let's go check it out. It's like there's a divider right there. Yeah, there's another one back Look. there too. Yeah, this is converted to a motorhome. That's a sewer line. bus no, a, peace love power. happiness yeah hey let's uh let me squeeze in there yep that's exactly what this is it was a converted old mobile motor home sunroof mm. sorry guys I'm trying to keep you guys out of the sun you don't want to chance it and go over there no. let's try it let's try it she said no but what she don't know don't hurt That's all right. That's it. Can't really Let's see right there. Feels a little sketchy. Yeah, this was like a kitchen area or something. Yeah, I'd like to go all the way back there, but it's what the window's for, right? Go peek through the window. Okay. 
okay, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that's gonna. There's the nails here, so be careful. There's the other end. I'm sure there's like a bed or something in there. Uh, I'm gonna guess that was like a shower. All right. And another fire crew bus. There's two more fire trucks here. This is a, like an original hook and ladder. In that direction. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go through these real quick. Brit. Yeah, I see that. Brit's crying. She's cold, so. Six cylinders, huh? Pretty big, though. And this will be the last one. It's pretty much. Just like that other one we saw. Oh, let's jump up here. Oh. Yeah, just no no ladder. You know what? This is... This was a, an entire department. You have two of these trucks like this. Well, look at this. That's 51. Could that be... That's definitely a 51. Hmm. I wonder if these are the old fire engines from uh, that show Emergency. They were Squad 51. So if they were Squad 51 out of that same department, would they all be 51 since they're from Station 51? Huh. You guys got me thinking. I mean, you always hear stories of like them misplacing and doing things from old uh, old shows. Let's see. Yeah, the Los Angeles County Fire Department. That's all it says. If you guys can see that or not, I don't know. Another Huntington Beach School, Huntington Beach Unified School District. But yeah. Down there, one more. Hmm. Is this old coffee pot? That was a popcorn maker. T-34. Okay, can't go through there. Maybe I should watch where I'm going, huh? Alright, guys. That's about it for the day. Um, it's getting cold out of here. It was 46 degrees when we got here about 45 minutes to an hour ago. And, uh, yeah, it's getting cold. It's dropping pretty fast. Uh, we got a big storm moving in starting tomorrow. We're supposed to get slammed with, like, two days worth of constant continuous snow which is uh it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cool at the same time i don't really like being snowed into the house being stuck in the house is uh 
not one of the things that I like to do. I like to be out here exploring. But we got to go get ready, prepare for that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. And so, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to continue to see videos like this, go ahead and uh, subscribe, hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Um, we're hoping to find a lot of places like this. So if you're up here in the, the high desert of Southern California and you know anything like this, any, any place cool um, that's worth checking out, you know, comment or send us an email at postatomic. What's that email? You know, scratch the email. I don't remember the email right now. I don't really use it that much. Don't get hardly any email on there. So um, also you could like us on uh, or search for us on Instagram. It's uh, postatomic underscore 18 on Instagram. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like. And we have a couple other videos on our channel too. I think we got about 25 other videos um, that you guys can check out. Thanks for watching.